PCM monitors the camshaft position when VVT is functioning. Normally when the engine is running at 2000 to 3000 RPM, PCM will activate the VVT by sending the activation command to the VVT solenoid which sometimes is called the oil control valve or OCV. So when OCV is activated but there is not any change on camshaft position, PCM will set a fault code. P0024 fault code will be set if the difference between bank 2 exhaust camshaft's actual position and desired position is more than 20 degrees. To diagnose the engine in this case, the following items must be checked. Engine oil, bank 2 exhaust VVT solenoid, and bank 2 exhaust VVT. Engine oil. As variable valve timing works with the engine oil, you must check what was the last engine oil change, check the oil level and quality and replace it if needed. You can see the passages into the VVT from the engine block into the VVT oil filter, then OCV. Many engines with VVT mechanism have got a filter right before OCV, so locate that filter, remove it and clean it thoroughly. As this fault code is set for the bank 2 exhaust side, locate the relevant OCV to perform the test procedure. Before doing anything, it is very important to review OCV wiring diagram. As soon as you turn the ignition switch to on position, power supply will be provided to OCV via engine main relay, so you must have battery voltage on that pin. Also, OCV is controlled by PCM using the other wire, so the control line must be checked too. For testing the OCV power supply voltage, turn the ignition on when bank 2 exhaust OCV connector is disconnected. Then check the supply voltage using a multimeter on the relevant pin. In this test, you must measure the battery voltage on the multimeter. Locate the exhaust OCV bank 2 and perform the power supply test procedure as shown here. Remove the OCV connector, then start the engine. Apply battery positive and negative to OCV when engine is running, if solenoid is functioning, engine must hesitate or stall. So, if after activating the solenoid in test, you do not see any changes in engine operation, it means that OCV might be faulty, so, you must remove the OCV to do more test on that. You can also test the VVT operation by the scan tool. Use the actuator test in the scan tool and activate the bank 2 exhaust OCV as shown in this video, if engine hesitates, it means solenoid is functioning. Otherwise, remove the OCV to do more test. Remove the bank 2 exhaust OCV, clean it carefully, and check the solenoid visually. For testing the solenoid off the engine, you can perform the actuation test. So provide the battery positive and negative on the OCV, and test it as shown here, make sure you hear the clicking sound during the actuation test. Next step is to measure the OCV internal resistance using a multimeter. Measure the resistance as shown in the video and compare it with the specification. If OCV fails in any of these two tests, you must replace it with a brand new one, otherwise, if OCV is good, and you still have the fault, you should go to the next step to test the VVT itself. 
Before testing the intake VVT, remove the bank 2 exhaust camshaft and locate the advance and retard oil passages on camshaft. Test the exhaust VVT by providing the compressed air into the relevant oil galleries. For testing the exhaust VVT, when you provide the air into the retard oil gallery, VVT should rotate as exhaust VVT is locked at maximum advance. Before providing the compressed air into the retard oil gallery, make sure that the VVT is locked and does not rotate. If VVT fails this test, it must be replaced.